Yo, what is going on guys? It is Bender Cartoon. 91 here, and today I'm back with another keyboard build. It has been a while, but today I have a very special build. This is a Mode 80, which for anyone who doesn't know is a TKO. It's very nice. Um, it looks really good. And we'll be building it with alpaca switches and some mode switches. So uh, we'll do a sound test of both of those. So yeah, let's honestly get right into the unboxing because this board looks so good. All right, guys, so here it is. So uh, I'm gonna unbox the actual keyboard last. I have already unboxed it just because I couldn't wait, but man, it's so good. It's gonna look really good. It's gonna be an awesome build. So PCB right here, we do have a hot swap PCB, no soldering, it was already tested, so I'm honestly just happy and I'm gonna skip that step. No testing, because 100% recommend you test your uh, keyboards, but I'm too lazy. All right, next up we have this bag of cuties. Let's see what we have in here. So, opens up. And on the top we have a plate. It seems to be FR4 or aluminum. I can't actually tell, but uh, I'll let you guys know once I know. And then we have all of the foam pieces and how it mounts. Uh, we will use these later. Next up, we have a JST connector. Um, just a daughter board right here. I've never actually used a board with a daughter board, so this is gonna be fun. Then we have the feet. So we actually have to put on the feet. Um, I've seen a lot of videos. It seems to be a hassle, but um, I hope we can do it pretty easily. And then right here, this is a brass plate. So let's open this thing up. Oh no, I took the other half with it. Okay, but this is a polished brass and it looks so good. You know, you can see the reflection of like the camera and stuff in it. Man, this is gonna be awesome to build with. Um, I don't know which plate I'm going to use for this build, but eventually I will rebuild with the other plate. Since it's a, a hot swap board, it's going to be really easy to do that. Also, we just have screws and stuff like that. And we also have the mode switches I was talking about. So we're gonna do a build with these um, and a build with alpacas. So now we have the board itself. This board is actually crazy. So I have already opened it, so it was much more well packed than this, but yeah, let's open this thing up. Ooh, there it is. The mode 80. Number 45 out of 450. You guys can see right there. And then ready, the back. Ooh. Wait, where's the camera? There's the camera. Look at that. It's a mirror polish. It looks super good. Let's see the light. Where is it? There it is. There's me. So yeah, this is awesome. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put on the feet and then we'll continue with the build. All right, guys. So now we will be lubing the stabs. Uh, for today's build, I have C3 stabs. Cream colorway with the black pvd um wires so we're gonna get this all put together and we are going to start lubing these steps uh i'm gonna just put this into time lapse mode and yeah we'll get to it So I finished lubing all of the stabs. Now we're gonna put them onto the PCB, test them. And I was actually quite conservative with the wire because I've never used C3 stabs before. You can always add more, but it's really hard to take away. So I was a little bit conservative, so we might need to add more lube, but I'm not sure. So yeah, we're gonna put them on here and test them out. All right, guys, so I'm sorry I skipped a few steps, but that was just because this board is very different from any other board I've built before, and I really didn't want to mess it up since it is such a nice board. So yeah, now um, we're going to put some keycaps on. Sadly, it's 8008 again. I love the set 8008, but all my other keycaps have not arrived yet. So yeah, we're just going to put these keycaps on, and then we'll get a sound test going. 
So what happened is I'm now really crunched on time because I have a lot of homework to do. So I'm just going to do the type test. I can't do the other switches today, but I will do them later down the line. So yeah, let's get a little sound test going. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button, hit that sub button, all of that good stuff. I enjoyed building this keyboard quite a lot. It was definitely a different experience from normal. Um, I've never built a keyboard like this with the so-called stack mount. That's what mode is calling it, by the way. You have a layer of foam on the bottom and then a layer of foam on top, which is already pre-applied to the plate, which is why I ended up using the brass plate instead of FR4 something to note in there um i thought it sounded really good um the stabs do need a little bit more lube uh i was just kind of in a rush and since it was c3 stabs and i've never used those before i didn't know how much to use so i was a little bit more conservative than normal but yeah i really enjoyed that build and i think it turned out really well so yeah stay safe peace